Hey there, Tiger Cubs. I wanna show you how to create a really simple optical illusion that you will use for the base of your sculpture. We're gonna start with a square sheet of paper, put a dot right in the middle. Then you're going to extend a line to each corner. I like to use a slightly curved line. You can use straight, whatever you want. Again, from the center right to the corner. We're gonna do that on each of the corners. In each side section, you're going to add two more curved lines. One, two, turn it. One, two, keep turning. One, two, one, two. Okay, now we have an even number of sections, and we are going to divide each of these sections further, um, starting with any one you like. I'm going to start adding some lines that kind of curve to look like a smile. Okay, and then I'm going to skip a section and add, let's see, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to try to do the same number, two, three, four, Five. You'll notice if you get to the edge, part of it might extend off the edge. In art, we call that overlapping, and I think that's a really good thing. Um, so you might want to try a little overlapping there on the edge. So I'm going to rotate and do it again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. I'm going to add another one there because it looks like there should be one. That one appears to be a little bit longer. And then continuing. Okay, now I've got my smiles in every other section. And what I'm going to do now is think about alternating. So instead of a line that curves up in between each section, or I'm sorry, that curves down, I want to make one that curves up. So between these two, I'm going to go up, between these two, up, up. To make this illusion work really well, it's important that none of these lines be straight. So even though it might seem a little strange at first, you really want to make sure that these lines curve. And as you can see, these alternating curves are creating an illusion that kind of looks like fabric that is billowing kind of in the wind or paper that is folded. After we shade it, you're gonna see that that illusion is enhanced with shading. This is going to end up being the base of your sculpture. When you're working on this part, I like you to think about choosing colors that again, kind of represent your identity. So what is it that we could communicate with color? So you might think about if you have a very calm personality, you might want to choose some calm colors, which are typically the cool colors, green, violet, and blue. Or if you're kind of um, an active, rambunctious person, you might want to choose the warm colors, um, yellow, red, and orange. Uh, for my sample, I chose blue and violet. So for this part, I just want to tell you that you're going to alternate. So you're going to start with marker. So choose two colors. On one of your sections, you're going to alternate marker with white. So let's look at this purple section. So I start with white, solid marker, white, solid marker, white, solid marker, white, solid marker. Okay, and then in the next section, you'll use your second color, whatever that was. So I started um, with this time, instead of starting with white, I started with solid color, and then I did white, solid color, white, solid color, white. So not only did I alternate color, I also alternated pattern. 
So instead of going white, solid, white, solid, white, solid, I went solid, white, solid, white, solid, white. Okay? After you finish with marker, then you're going to enhance the illusion by adding color pencil. So you can see I've already done the blue sections. I've only started with the violet section. And I wanna show you just quickly how you're gonna do each of these sections. So with the same color, color pencil that you used with marker, you're going to begin shading on the edge and then make that go into the center to white. So it's dark on the edge, and then it gets light as it goes to the center. Dark on the edge, and light in the center. So you're gonna do that with each of these. Dark on the edge. You might think that this is gonna take a long time, but it really doesn't. And you're gonna continue doing these, dark on the edge, light in the center all the way around. So you can really already start to see how much that shading enhances. So if you cover up this section, you can see that the part that I've shaded has a greater illusion of three dimensionality because of the shading than it does over here because I haven't finished the violet. Now, if I hadn't done any of the blue, it would have looked really flat. So we're gonna do a little op art challenge for the base. Um, have fun with this. Remember to alternate with your striping and go nice and uh, slow so you can make it nice and neat and do a good job coloring. This again is gonna be the base of your sculpture.